Hi everyone, welcome to another app tutorial. For people who are not familiar, I do have an astrology app that I am affiliated with. So check in the description box and let's begin. Today, we are going to be focusing on one of my favorite parts of this app, which is the Vedic Rituals and Remedies. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. But before we start, um, this is your Weekend Express. So it's going to be fast, it's going to be quick, it's going to be short and sweet. So if it's you, then that's good. If it's not, you know, I don't want you to get upset, okay? Also, I will be focusing on the card on the table. That way I can deliver more messages. It does take time for me to put it in the camera, you know, because it's already quick. So I, I want the focus on the card okay and i'm gonna be using also an oracle card now hold on i do advise for people of course to watch tarot in moderation so you know you're an adult you do what you want to do okay but at the same time i do not i mean i wouldn't encourage for cross watching moving forward with this channel because if you do cross watch and this is what i have seen and i mean like i encourage before it's like you know you want to cross watch it's good but what I've seen is if we keep doing cross watching and then we're going to switch the roles to suit you, then we're just feeding our ego to be the good one and then on the bad side. And that's not healthy. So we just have to respect that if I'm reading for a specific zodiac, if it's an Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and all the way to Pisces, right? It, it is a message for that zodiac. If, for example, where I switch the roles or you switch the roles, then that's not going to be good, okay? And that's one of my concerns here. Remember, the channel is moving forward for a healthy individual. And it doesn't matter for me if, I, if only one person gets the message because it's supposed to enlighten one soul. And that soul is going to be amazing, okay? And that's where my, uh, how, my, my energy would be driven to help. Okay, so I'm not here to serve everybody. I'm here only to serve a specific individual. Maybe this this person is in right now in their darkest time, in this in their weakest moment. So at least I would be able to help that individual. Okay, so we can think that you know this whole reading is about our life because that's just selfish. Okay, <laughs> so um, everything is gonna be in the description box, and if you're just gonna complain and you're upset about the reading. I mean, you know, we got to get a life. Okay, we got to get a life. You click this, then you sit down. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so, so that's it. Okay, so next you're going to see each, the reading for each zodiac. And if you're just going to complain, it's like the announcement is longer than the, than the reading. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So sit down, watch your reading. If it resonates, then good. If not, okay. I'll see you and uh, focusing on the cards now. All right. Okay, Aries. So let's start your reading. Okay. Let's start with the tarot before I start with the, before I, I get to the oracle card. Okay. So this is focusing on the current. Okay. And I already advised about the cross watching. It's not good. Okay. You have your two of swords. Okay. So clearly you're scared to make a decision, Aries. You see that one? That's the moon. That's your mind. Because you can't trust this person. Mm -hmm. This person is creepy in your life. Yes? Okay. Now, why do you feel like it's creepy? Because you feel like they're stalking you. They're watching every move. And here you are. Feeling victimized. I feel like there's some... Um, some sort of privacy issue mm -hmm. like let's just say you're going somewhere this is the direction okay i'm going out i'm going here but you feel okay subconsciously even even though this person is not stalking you there's a paranoia it means this other person has done this before and the two of swords here you're sitting on the bench it only means that you can't even go out without feeling protected and you know that if you step out three of swords right it's gonna hurt you you feel betrayed 
Mm -hmm. Now the two of swords also is like you cannot make a decision right now because this person, it appears that, you know, like they just have some hidden agenda. Mm -hmm. King of Cups. Now why it's unhealthy to cross watch? Because I'm going to go for the Scorpio. The Scorpio is known to stalk, obsess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is that person. Loves you a lot, but is basically a creep. Because I will not play sides here. Mm -hmm. I will not play sides. So you're dealing with someone who is obsessed in love with you. And you know that this person has a lot of feelings for you. But you, th this person has different cards. You see that, Aries? Those cards is like the, the thing that they will tell you. And you started to listen if this person can be trusted. You're trying to see... If this person who claims that they're in love with you is for reals or they're just trying basically to persuade you because mm -hmm. it appears that this uh, king of cups is in this um, raft over here so sometimes they will tell you a lot of things about how they like you they love you they care about you mm -hmm. but it's inconsistent even though it's a king of cups ace of wands so you probably felt like, okay, well, this person likes me, Sal. Mm -hmm. This person likes me because, you know, of the passion. You know, we have a wonderful, amazing intimacy connection. Mm -hmm. So it's true, though. It's true. And then you have your two of pentacles. But how come? Every time about you're asking about consistency, sometimes they will text you, sometimes they won't. Sometimes they want to spend time with you, sometimes they won't. So there is no consistency with this person. You've, you slowly felt that this person is not making you as a priority. The person is making you as an option. Because this is when they're like, ah, you know, it's like, let me, let me text you. Let me see you. Let me go towards you. Let me give you some attention. But then there are other times where it's like they're not in your, in, in, in your area. Meaning they, they would just pull back and then they're just going to say, it's like, well, I'm busy. You know I was busy. You know that I cannot be with you that day mm -mm 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 because I'm busy. Queen of Wands, you as a fire sign, you angry here, you're angry, you're mad because you're slowly seeing through what they're uh, what they're doing towards you, and you know your self worth, you're confident, you don't get played basically. This is what you're telling this person. You don't play me. Mm -hmm. You don't tell me you're busy, because when you want me, you want me. When you want to have intimacy with me, you right away go to my door. Mm -hmm. mm. Yep, there it is. The intimacy card. Knight of Wands. So you're dealing with someone mm -hmm, who's having fun with you. And for you, it ain't fun anymore. Party's over, basically. That can be a Leo also. That can be a Sag also, Aries. Okay. Let's get the Oracle. Life Purpose. So it's asking for you right now, dismiss those, uh, how to call that, those relationship or those connection that does not serve you. Mm -hmm. Because you have to follow what your main purpose in life is. What does your heart desire? Where, what does your heart tell you? Is it asking you to be in a relationship right now? Is it asking you right now to focus on yourself first? Because that's what the card is saying, Aries. Focus on yourself. Life purpose. This person is coming, Aries. You're mad and upset with them. And for some reason, there was one night, like your intuition was telling you, something is off with this person. Something is, um, how to say, something is weird. They just vanish when they want to. They just come in when they want to. So you're questioning the intention of the king. Is this person really a king? Or is this person really a knight who just wants to have fun with me? Mm -hmm. Is it a younger person also? Mm. Okay, so I will continue this reading, guys. Link down there in the description box for the extended. And I will go further the situation with the if, what, not, maybes. And, you know, things that you can think of. And I'll read more of the tarot. All right? Thank you very much, Aries. Bye. You can see there right now, it's under the featured tools. I click on that. And then it will give me 
different informations for remedies. And one thing that is very famous and familiar for this app is the remedies to improve relationship. So if you click that, it will give you helpful information about remedying, uh, giving remedy to your relationship. These are very practical approach. These are not complicated approach as far as like remedies. And other than that, it will also give you different kinds of rituals, which is for the eclipse. You can see it there. You have Saturn fasting. You have all these things, Rahu rituals, which is for different placements of Rahu in the chart. So all these things that you can see right now on the screen, where I'm scrolling right here, all of these are available for remedies. And what's good here is that it is one-stop shop. You do not need to keep, you know, searching online, finding different remedies because it's already in your phone. Ain't that amazing? So what are you waiting for? Click that link below for my affiliate link for the app. I'll see you again.